Leah, welcome into your reading for Friday, the 16th of December. Let's see what is coming in next in love for you. We are going to be checking into an energy here. It can be related to absolutely anything. Somebody that you know, a new connection, um, what is currently going on with you right now. So we are going to see what is coming in next for my Leos out there with regards to love. Remember, this is a general reading. So if it resonates with you, you will know. If not, please do release it and let it go. Please, you can also check your rising moon and your Venus. Okay. So, ooh. Fellow traveler, support is all around you. Okay, you are single. This card is always a single card for single people. You are standing on your on your own here and you are looking at your life. Okay, I love this card because it talks about how to find this person that is your fellow traveler. And that's going to come up in your reading. you got a path that you are traveling here and something lies ahead of you. Okay, so uh, you are being guided here. You are going to be told in this reading how to find this person, okay, and what you need to do to bring them in, all right? And to bring them in, you basically know that you need to be moving forward, all right, in your life. So let's see what comes in here for you. Let me just move this a little bit to the center. Uh, with regards to this person, you have a fellow tra traveler. You are, I feel like you are single. I don't feel like you are with somebody, and I feel like you are going to be... Um, meeting someone here, moving forward in your life. Okay, that card has got my attention. You don't believe it. Uh, you're alone right now. You blindfolded. You've had a lot of issues and problems when it comes to love. So your energy is quite closed off here. You are not um, ready to let anybody in. It's almost like you're trying to defend yourself against the exes and people who just want to take advantage of you. And you don't trust anybody right now. Okay. So let's see here. Yeah, five of wands coming in here. There has been problems here that you could not solve. Situations that are coming in here that are not good for you. You are holding on and hoping that this is coming in. You're holding on to something here. Yes, it is. You got a page of cups. Okay, you do have a page of cups. So this person is coming in for you. Hmm. This person is coming in for you here. Let's see what else will come in. Wow. You have a ten of cups. And this is what you're waiting for. That's what you're holding on for. You know, it's just that you don't want the wrong person to come towards you because you have been hurt before and you've had a lot of problems with love here. So you're really kind of protecting yourself from the wrong person. I feel like with this energy, I almost feel like you get taken advantage of in love because of your good heart here. So you've got your life expanding with the three of wands. And the five of swords comes in again. The five of wands, the five of swords. You've got a, such a good heart. I am just saying, oh my goodness, um, you got the page of wands coming in here. This person could be younger than you a little bit. The Hierophant energy, wow, and the Queen of Pentacles, oh my goodness. So this is what I can tell you with regards to your reading. You do have a person up in front waiting for you here. Um, this is what you need to do. First of all, you need to work on yourself here. You've got three cards that talk about a lot that's been going on with you here. The three cards is the five of wands. And these cards, um, you know, it came up in the reverse position, trying to solve problems, trying to work things out in your mind, um, not being able to find solutions to certain things, what people have said to you, what they've done to you, how they've taken advantage to you of you. I feel like some words were spoken to you very unkindly to you. That has just like left you really, really... Um, pretty close to be honest and and I feel like you're isolating yourself in this energy and spirit guide is actually asking you to do something at this point in time that you need to trust them okay um, the birds in in this in the tarot can be representation of many different things it usually means the thoughts in your head or certain birds can even mean spirit guide depending on what's going on in the card this peacock here is a representation of what they're showing you they're showing you where to go they're showing you uh, what is coming in okay and I will show let me go straight to this energy you got a page of wands coming in here this was in the reverse position when I took it out so the page of caps in the page of wands this is a new person this is not somebody that you know okay this person you have not met yet you have not had words with them yet they have not communicated with you that's why it's in the reverse position but this is your person um you could be a bit younger than them or they could be a little bit younger than you here um there is going to be some kind of like 
connection to a person and then i do feel like somebody may ask for your number or ask for your your cell phone number want to communicate with you after that wanting to get uh, get to know you um i do feel like you are going to a very stable relationship here okay um it's going to expand your world all right so we're getting some advice coming through with these three cards yeah i promised you i'm going to tell you how to get this right okay and i'm and i can see they did they didn't uh disappoint me they really did show the energy here so you are having a relationship coming in here that is going to leave you feeling very stable and very secure and very safe in this connection this person is not going to make you feel as if they're going to walk out on you or if they're cheating on you you're just going to feel very safe they are going to be with you in the ten of cups here so the ten of cups is a reaching of completion it's a goal that you reach with a person you have children with them you move in with them you have a home with them there is love in this energy there is love here, okay? And this is what makes you feel so secure. So Spirit Guide is advising you now on how you're going to get here. So we've got the hangman coming in, okay? So first of all, they are letting you know that please, as of this moment, we know that you do not see this. You're listening to this tarot reader out here on YouTube, okay? You don't see this coming in. You are literally in the blindfolded situation. You're trying to defend yourself against all the people that have hurt you. And they are asking you to please hold on just a little bit longer here, waiting for this person to come. There is going to be a moment of enlightenment that is going to put light in the darkness, and you are going to be able to see who this is, okay? Then we have got, um, this is where we need to go talk about. You see, this, these two cards here have got to do, we've got the Hierophant, which is Taurus's energy, okay, has got to do, the Three of Wands, has got to do with the rainbow that's in the background there and the path, okay. So in your life, the way, and here's another path here, the way that you meet this person is to become a wise person in your life with a Taurus card being here and um, with a Hierophant. First of all, you need to understand that everything that you have experienced that was negative here, all the heartbreak and the pain has been happening to you so that it can level you up, okay, to prepare you for what it is you really want. You cannot be a beginner okay with regards to understanding love and relationships to find yourself in the ten of cups and the queen of pentacles you have to be somebody with understanding with maturity with wisdom to be able to be here in a relationship and that is what has been happening to you that is what has been being ta taught to you i know it's not fun i mean think about it if you go to school and you, you're at university it's not exactly fun to learn all those things but at the end of the day you walk out with your degree Okay, and you can go do a job that you could never do before, meaning in this situation, you can actually be in a permanent relationship where you wouldn't have been able to have been before because you didn't have the right kind of experience for the job. Okay, and how you find this person is to work on yourself. It is to understand who you are. It is to understand what you want out of life. And that is the three of wands. Who are you? What do you want besides love you cannot only be living on this planet wanting to be in love because then that is the bonus okay the the real love that you need to find is your love for yourself and the path to finding real love is the path to finding yourself and you gotta at this moment in time while you're in the hangman energy figure out what it is you want out of life do you want to be more educated? Do you want to maybe uh, live a more bigger life? Do you want to maybe change how things are happening in your world? Do you want to experience more about life? At this moment in time, get out there and expand your world in some kind of way. If you have been thinking to yourself, you know what? I've always wanted to take dance classes since I was young, but I just don't do it. Please go out there and do it. Okay, if you have been thinking, hey, maybe I do want to take up surfing. I've always wanted to take up surfing. Maybe I want to go surf on different beaches around the world. Go out there and please go do it. Okay, if you've said to yourself, I've always wanted to maybe, um, you know, carry a study further. 
go and study further. Your heart is trying to show you the way. And the way the rainbow is a representation of living your life to the absolute fullest. It's got the seven chakra colors in there showing every aspect of life. Living your life to the fullest and expressing who you are to the fullest and doing all the things that your heart is saying go do. Those things that he's talking to you is the path to find this person. One of these things that you are going to be doing, you're going to find the person on that road. So that's why you got to have an adventure. you got to go out there and make your life a beautiful piece of art. And as you do that, as you express yourself and live your life to the absolute fullest, you are going to meet this person. And that's all you need to do. Not only is that benefiting you, but it will benefit that person when they meet you as well. So there we go. Thank you so much for coming into the reading. If you do want to catch more content from me, you can check out this video over here. Okay. That is my pick a card reading channel, which is the latest video that has come out there. If you so wish to do so, you can go see what's up with that. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'm sending my love to you. Bye.